Welcome to this series of bite-sized training videos from Wellington. This video will be focusing on how to update progress on assigned tasks in Project Online. Once a user has been assigned work in Microsoft Project and that project has been published, the user will then be able to visit the tasks area of Project Online to view all their assigned work in one convenient place and then update progress on those tasks. From the Project Online homepage, the user can access their assigned work by either clicking on the Tasks tile or via the My Tasks link in the Quick Launch pane on the left hand side. Once in the view, you will see the tasks you have been assigned listed on the left, along with details for each of those tasks, including the start and finish dates, the duration of the task, the amount of work assigned, the amount of work actually completed to date, as well as the work remaining. On the right hand side is the time phase data section, where the work is displayed as hours per day for that period. This is where the user will update their progress on each task. You can see that work is grouped into a series of planning windows. At the top is the work planned for the current period. In the example shown, this is the work for the next two weeks. With the near future being anything up to a month ahead and the distant future is any work assigned more than a month ahead. Do be aware, however, that your configuration may have slightly different parameters for each planning window. However, on the ribbon at the top, the user has the option to show work for a particular period. Here, all the available time reporting periods are listed. Or they can simply skip to the next week, as well as visiting the previous week. On the ribbon, you can also see that the user is able to change the layout from the current time phase data option to the Gantt chart layout. This may be useful to visualise at a higher level how work is distributed over a series of concurrent tasks. The user can also change the units. The current units here are displayed in hours, but some people prefer to work in days. Another useful feature is the ability to filter tasks. For example, the user could choose to highlight only the tasks which are overdue. As a team member, I'm now going to update and submit the progress on my tasks for the week. So I go to the actual row against the task and start entering the hours spent each day. Once I'm happy with the update, I then need to submit my update to the project manager. I have the option to send progress for specific tasks only. For example, perhaps I'm working on a project where the PM requires daily updates and I only want to send updates for that particular task. In this case, I would select the checkbox next to that task and then under the send status, I would choose the selected tasks option. Or Alternatively, at the end of the week, I can simply send updates for all tasks. You can now see that my task updates have been sent to the relevant project manager for approval. So that concludes how to update assigned tasks in Project Online. In the next video, I will be demonstrating how to submit a timesheet.